Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is uh, another game review. I uh, just picked up Gran Turismo Sport. And uh, I'll admit I was a little skeptical at first when I picked it up, but all in all, it's pretty decent. I gotta say, it's a hell of an improvement from uh, former Gran Turismos. A hell of an improvement as far as handling characteristics, so on and so forth. So far, what I've seen, the cars are all brilliantly detailed, all look very, very excellent. Um, and again, I just got into the game, haven't really explored it much, but I've completed the beginner license test, messed around with the menus a bit, and you know, as is with most other Gran Turismo games, there's a lot of silly crap, uh, such as the opening video was just, I don't know, I felt it was kind of ridiculous. It sounded like a Disney musical but as far as gaming experience and driving the game it seemed pretty fun um compared to a couple other racing games i've played on the playstation 4 um it's so far the best uh driving game as far as realistic controls and so on and so forth the worst driving game i've experienced on the playstation 4 is need for speed payback the voice acting is, uh, I wanted to rip my guts out and stuff them in my ears so I wouldn't hear it. The actors and actresses in that game are just, uh, sorry, I just threw up my mouth a little bit thinking about it. Uh, not only that, the gameplay in Need for Speed Payback is just absolutely ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I mean... It feels like your car is half an inch off the ground and floating on oil. It's ridiculous. It did. The cars don't handle for shit. Although on the plus side, there is one plus side. There's a couple games in Need for Speed Payback that you don't find in most other games these days. Like a, a 57 Bel Air. An old Chevy C10. Wow. Pretty goddamn interesting Volvos for fuck's sake. Uh, so, that being said... Yeah, Need for Speed Payback still sucks. They really need to bring back The Run or Hot Pursuit because those are the two best titles ever as far as Need for Speed is concerned. Uh, last driving game I checked out uh, was Mad Max, believe it or not. And um, I viewed it as more of a driving game than anything else. Who the hell doesn't want to play a game as Mad Max and drive around an old 73 Ford Falcon? which, in case you didn't know, was the car in Mad Max. The V8 Interceptor, or the black-on-black, -black, as they like to call it. The car's iconic, it's badass as shit, and it's fun as fuck to drive. Um, but as far as the rest of the Mad Max game goes, um, I don't play the game to get out of the car and run around and pick up scrap and bullshit like that. I just want to drive around with the double-barreled shotgun and fuck shit up. Which you can, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. Um, and honestly, it's a really well done game, and I'm surprised it didn't get as uh, many good reviews as it did. But uh, as far as Gran Turismo goes, I will make another video uh, after I get a little further ahead in it. Now uh, we'll go through and um, check out a lot of cars and a lot of tracks and see how it holds up, especially on multiplayer, and see how it uh, functions. And I'll give you my opinion on that. Um, as always, Keep watching them. I'll keep making them. Drop any comment you like below, negative or positive. I respond to them all. Big old thumbs up and a like and a share. And a subscribe if you feel like it. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great one, and I'll see you on track.